let me tell you, I am having a miserable old time. It's pissing with rain and I'm in the process of moving my whole life out of here and into here. All right, it's too wet outside to do it. Everything else is saturated, so, oh my gosh. Yeah, dismal weather all day. Good morning, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed the last episode doing some interior design in the van. It's been thrillingly exciting to get to this point. And I have a few more things to do before I would consider it ready. <sighs> so, months ago I bought this beautiful trim with uh, acorn acorns and oak leaves on it. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And then I had one of my close friends paint the detail because I was just like you know beautiful builds are sometimes just about the tiny detail that pops and that where you've shown extra care and attention so I wanted to show you because I'm just about to install it finally I'm going to show you here right now the process of making it and then popping it in Some green's just too harsh. But this is the one that's Ooh, my favorite. Gringo. So once again, it's more transparent. Mm hmm Well, that would be perfect because then it shows through the wood. Yeah. Yay! Should we try one just to see? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's so beautiful! Yeah. Can we see that on the wood? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Janice, I'm so excited! Okay. So what we're gonna do is so, this is gonna get painted. Just this little bit here. A little bit of color. Oh look, there's a puppy dog. Oh, we could do alternating. So some leaves could be orange and some leaves could be green. Yeah. So the acorns. Do you want the tops of them with the same? I mean, I think there's so many of them that it will be easier if you just paint the whole thing one color. Because okay. otherwise, if you see how long the piece of wood is and how many acorns there are, I think that will take too long. And you probably don't want too many colors. No. I'm feeling lots of little acorn there too. But, yeah, because yeah, like, there's three there, two mm. there, three there, like it goes three, two, four. And maybe it's four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, two, four, two. And then contrasted with a beautiful green on here, it's going to wow. just pop. Right? I'm thinking of another green that I really like. It's a sap green. Mm. And it has a lot of yellow to it, too. They're my favorites. So. Oh, these are kind of so I just want some variation here and there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. At this rate, Janice will be done before dinner. <laughs> it could sound up, but that's going to be your picture. Also, like, remember where I'm not advocating perfectionism here, <laughs> we're advocating beauty and imperfection. Like nature. <laughs> yeah, and no, nature has leaves that are green and orange at the same time. Uh, the colors. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Mm. Now I'm getting caught up in it all. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> Let's play. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. 
Like sometimes it's like the little teeny details that really make something a work of art. Mm, it's going to be my home and I want my home to be a yeah. work of art. Like match my kooky personality. Or something like, you know, the kooky personality or not. <laughs> Yes. Sorry, but I I'm just, a, you know, you're... <laughs> I'm a little nutty. You're leading me down the lane here. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Time to cut it. A big thank you for this gift. Replacing my old saw that died. I'm so thrilled. This is the first time I'm using it. for those little light little tiny cuts having a little saw instead of a giant heavy one just makes little cuts way easier oh. right let's see if it fits goes up along the back wall up there go in oh, go in oh you know why <laughs> of course it's not gonna go in. Take two. no real carpenter ever but definitely me <sighs> oh yeah I hung I hung the octo hat on the wall doesn't it look cool it's not even really a hook it just looks cool hanging above my bed and I needed him to be out of the way so ta-da Octo hat. The Karaka! That was bugging me. Hi everybody! It feels super good to be checking off some of the very last jobs in the design and interior of the van. Like secret cupboard doors, which will look gorgeous once I've varnished them. And putting a door on the wetsuit room. I have bought this beautiful piece of wood, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the right size. Look at this thing, it's gorgeous. So I just have to, I've measured it and I have to cut it across there and then put some hinges on it and see if it fits. <laughs> so fun. The end feels so close. Well, the end of the interior design. We still have propane, electrical and water and he water heating to get done, but you know, those are major jobs, which we're going to slowly do instead of rush. <gasps> that is freaking gorgeous. Looks good. Looks really nice. It's a little bit of a snug fit right there, so I have to trim it. Yep, right there is a little bit snug. And then, unfortunately, if I leave it here, that door ain't gonna close. So, as much as that looks lovely and flush, we need to cut about that much off. Oh, I'm happy it's all one piece. I'm stoked to be putting a last thing together. 
yeah, it's pretty special. Let's put some hinges on it. usual. Nothing is straight or square. So we'll be putting a piece of trim along the edge. Fabulous! Great! I love it. Doesn't that look nice? Another job I've started doing is putting trim on things just like this. It makes things just look really nice. I don't have a nail gun, so I'm just making do. It's great. It's the broom closet. I got a broom closet. How funny. I'm so excited for summer to be able to show you outside. Have lots of beautiful views out there. Yeah. Mm. I'm just one bread. I'm doing that thing where I worked real hard and didn't eat enough today. But I got a lot done which I'm going to show you in a second, but I'm burning all my wood scraps and it feels great. So I've stacked it as high as I possibly can go with pieces and then I'm going to put a little fire starter in it and let it go. But oh, I just want to show you something too. Look out my window, isn't this gorgeous? Mmm, maple blossoms. Oh, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be great. It's gonna burn all that real good. Uh huh. Oh, let me tell you, I'm having a miserable old time. It's pissing with rain, and I'm in the process of moving my whole life out of here and into here. And on a day like today, the rain is just not helping. <sighs> so the thing that I want to show you, I was like, I've just been doing stuff and most of it has not been worth filming, but this one I think is worth filming. Let me just show you what I struggle bust all by myself to do. So this bed goes up and down. The moment, I don't have the ropes in there to hoist it, so it's all me lifting up from underneath, and that thing is quite heavy. But, according to plan, these two chest of drawer pieces move, so they can be moved out of the way. Which is great, because this is my spare bed mattress, and it is currently too wide and too long, so I need to cut it down to like, there. I mean, it's not in properly, but you get the idea. You need to cut it a lot smaller. And so I'm going to do it in here because it is pissing with rain. Why? We're going to do some jigsawing from underneath the bed. 
And if you're looking at the bottom of my bed being like, Flossy, your mattress needs ventilation. I know, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of holes in these. I haven't done it yet because everything's been so freaking frantic. Also, maybe this would be a good time to sweep. Everything in there got vacuumed and swept and this is where the sawdust cleaning up stopped. So I'm gonna go get a broom and plug in the jigsaw and I'm gonna cut this bad boy up. Here's what we gotta do. The bed frame is 21 and this is currently 25 so we're gonna cut off three inches somehow while under this bed. All right, it's too wet outside to do it. Everything else is saturated so I guess we're gonna do bed mattress surgery under under here. Oh my gosh. Now, we just gotta cut that much off the whole way. Oh. All right. I can do it, 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 I can do it. Uh. Oh. When cutting the mattress in half for the bed versus this was so easy. I should have known that there was some foreshadowing about how hard this would be. And now I've done a terrible job. This is on a beautiful slant. I have to go in and clean up this extra piece, especially right here where it's hanging off. This piece is just rubbish, so I'm not too worried. And I'm actually even tempted because this is coming up so easily to try and take this whole It's not pretty, but it works. Now I have to put these back in place, lifting the bed up again. I deserve my lunch after this. The bed, did you find out how to climb up? It's been a while since you've been in here. Hey, lots has changed. No, kitty. So much. Kitty Jingle Jungle Jim. Yeah, I love you too. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to paint the floor and put some lino down. Yeah, it's a job we still have to do yet. Hi. Well, we have just gone and picked a whole lot of rhubarb. <laughs> the cat is exploring the newly cut second bed mattress in the little cubby. But what we've also done is done a huge basket of food from the garden. So I have a whole lot of, hey, parsley, it seems to apologize for the mess. Parsley, silver beet or Swiss chard. We unpack it all. So much parsley. Mm, that's weed. So much parsley, Swiss chard, and then underneath it all, I've also picked some lemon mint. An amazing harvest! Lots of delicious tasty greens that I am looking forward to eating. Yum yum yum! Although with this rhubarb you don't eat the greens, they are toxic. You just cut the stems off and eat this red bit. And it is tasty tasty delicious. 
Do you approve? You don't approve of my messy front door. Yeah. You look crazy. Look, even your cuddle spot is full of your cuddle spot is full of blankets. Yeah, dismal weather all day. Then finally today, this evening, it's like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. It finds up and the clouds has been pink hues all over there. Anyway, I've got to go pick up my water. And I have an, a helper who's decided to come out to finally enjoy the break in the rain. I love spring, but man, things change so freaking fast. It's really tricky to keep up. We have lilac bush here. Look at these beautiful flowers. You make the most delicious cordials and ice cream with this. Look, friends, these are elder flowers. Lilacs. Oh, so special. They're absolutely gorgeous. The whole the whole van smells like flowers. It's so delicious. Mm, I'm gonna make some really, really tasty elderflower cordial and lilac cordial. Maybe, maybe a rhubarb, who knows? Some sugar, simple syrup or sugar syrup so that I can put it in tonic water and we can have cocktails with, you know, things like this, cause it's so freaking delicious. <laughs> fantastic and wild to be able to like come park my entire house and then come to a beautiful place like this gonna get some drone footage through the van at the beach. Look at this thing. <laughs> Bye! It was so nice to see you again. <sighs> what a day. I'm at a beach in Nanaimo and just finished filming a van tour 
which of course is gonna come out way later than what you're gonna see this video. I was a little nervous, always talking on camera to other people's cameras when you're not editing yourself is a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a moment. But I was excited to show the van as it is now and by the time you see the tour, it'll probably be more complete and more updated and more beautiful and everything will be functional. <sighs> so when that comes out, it's gonna be wild, kind of the step back in time. But yeah, it's freaking beautiful. Let me show you. Some vegetables and greens from my garden, some elderflower, some lilac. It smells freaking amazing in here with all these flowers. I got cushions on my dinette. It looks like a real seating place. I even made my bed for the tour. And look, look at this. Look at this view. <sighs> yeah. Right. I'm gonna leave the step van here. I'm gonna go for a little walk. And see how far we can get without getting stranded. The idea is to go over there. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, everybody. <sighs> it was such a journey. We had so much rain for weeks and weeks. We had a crazy windstorm, and then suddenly a couple of days of just stunning weather. So it was really nice to get away. But I really like pushing through and doing van jobs when everything around you is damp, wet, miserable, and it's, it's just depressing. And I think you saw my little heart just feeling crushed with like, not despondency, but the frustration of trying to get stuff done when it feels like the elements are conspiring against you. But the, I end this video just about to start off on a bit of adventure. So next week's video will have us going across the lagoon to explore the little island. And then from here we head to the west coast lower down, not quite as high as up as uh, Tofino on Vancouver Island, but the west coast of Tofino, of Vancouver Island uh, to explore some more. And I'm excited to share a little of that with you next week. And being spring, we saw a little bit of flowers. And so I'm excited to share next week some more recipes with you, with the flowers. Uh, and what you can make with those. It's super exciting and yeah. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. If you're looking for other ways to support the channel, in the description box below I have a link to my PayPal if you wish to support in a one-off way. The Patreon I have is an amazing group of people who get, I share with you regular updates, more information about cooking, plant recipes, foraging, and day-to-day real-time information about where we are, where the van is and how the van build is going which is super exciting i love being able to share with you all get your input ask questions i really value that community it means a lot to me and you know as a creator it's not something that you take for granted having a, a group of people who are just so enthousi enthusiastically advocating and sharing your journey with you. So to all my Patreons, thank you. You made the world to me. And I can't wait to see you on the video next week. It's gonna be cool. It's nice to be getting on the road with the new van. Oh, it's so exciting. Yay! If you're still here, 
congratulations for your tenacity. Uh, you can also watch uh, some of my really old videos. This one is me buying the step van. That's amazing. Where it all started. And here is a playlist about my underwater adventures. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next week. Bye.